All right guys, so today we are getting our toilet. And this is our Aqua Magic Thetford toilet. So we're getting ready to install our custom made shower pan made here at l, l Granite. I'm taking some precautions and just putting some, some water protection. I've got this Schluter Curdy material and basically I just siliconed it down. I'm not really concerned that water is going to get through this. The only area I have any concern is around here, which we're going to grout around that. I've just siliconed this down. I had a trowel. I troweled it out you know siliconed it down and now I'm going to put silicone over top of it and once that dries this isn't going to go anywhere not to mention it's going to have a lot of panels sitting on top of it that's going to hold it down all right let it you good okay yeah for now and then you need, you need a grabo yeah I know we're putting in some furring strips for our wall panel that goes here. There's a bit of a curve on this wall and we want to straighten that up so that when we put our panel in here, it's just a straight wall that goes down. We're taking in out one of our shower panels. This is a solid piece of quartz. You guys got it. it seems like some right. Yeah, awesome. spray foam. Down my way. Yeah, I know. Like okay, watch your fingers. Don't let them get pinched. There we go. Okay, hold on. I am getting ready to install this panel right here, which goes right here. Oh my gosh. Why don't we Alright, don't we need it? This is Alright. That was the white. So offered it to um, oh, here's our getting another panel in. What he's doing right now is he's seaming two pieces together. And this device basically suctions to both pieces. He mixes up some epoxy that's actually colored the same color as this. And adjusts these knobs and it pulls it in or pushes it out depending on how, how you need it. It makes it very close to where you can't see the seam. Dave's been doing this for 15 years. He is a, an expert in stonework and craftsmanship. Nice <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we are getting ready to put this panel in that goes right here. This is really coming together. These have all set up. The seam looks pretty good. This stuff's pretty heavy. If you considered half inch plywood would have to go on if we were doing tile, then you would have the screws, the hardy board, which is cement board, and then the screws for that, which are super heavy. And then tile, mortar, grout. So do you think it's possible it's about the same weight? Mm. We're close. Not sure. That and each other sticks. <laughs> no, it's definitely. I'm the only muscle here. Here we go. Sounds like World War II aircraft coming in. Better if you crack it than me. There it goes. There it is. So the seams are perfect. Julie did a good job in figuring all of this out. Like the, the seams are literally, uh, you couldn't get a piece of paper behind there on either side and it's just perfectly straight all the way down. Just got our bathroom floor in. 
Doesn't it look cool? It's turning out really good. Got our hole cut for our Thetford toilet. So we got our shower enclosure done. Oh, Corey's here. Oh, that's it. And uh, it looks awesome. Like, look at this. It looks like a residential size shower. I mean, lots of room. Getting ready to install our glass door. We got all these panels in. Got our AC vent in over here. And we're getting ready to attempt to drill some holes through this quartz. is a 34 inch bifold I believe we had to be very uh, creative with how we could use it we did not have the amount of space here that we needed we are literally installing the door track inside the wall so I mean no one will probably ever notice except those of you who get to see this video so if you look the uh, the hinging part Honestly, this might end up looking better <laughs> than they would normally look because you would normally have a track that kind of sticks out and then your hinging part sticks out past this. The hinge is literally flush with our um, quartz. It actually looks really good in here. Um, and then over on this side, this hinge is over like so. The store has a magnetic strip here and here and basically it will just open up like this and then you just kind of attach it into there. Okay, so we are in the bathroom of the new Good News bus and it's looking a lot different than it has for the last, well, since we really started. Um, we've got all of our paneling up and got our AC vent in. We've got this, um, material here it's a fiberglass material that you can get like at home depot it makes cleaning the walls like just really easy i sealed all the edges um in the corners at the bottom siliconed it with white silicone this is where our sink will be um julie really wanted to go with a like an in wall mount uh faucet which actually looks really nice and we have a vanity that's going here. We actually had to do an offset uh, toilet flange that goes into our tank because our tank literally is, we we squeeze this in there just right. And it's we've got that installed. It's going down into our sewer tank. We've got our, our valve, our toilet valve coming out of the wall right there. Got our drain for our vanity and everything's looking great. This is gonna be lighting that actually comes out behind the mirror. So it will kind of like illuminate behind the mirror. And then of course we've got our in-ceiling lights and then we're probably gonna have some sort of um, mood lighting or something that, that kind of shines down along the wall. We've got our Thetford toilet here. This is the Aqua Magic Style Plus. It's got a porcelain bowl on it, which is really nice and a with soft clothes look at that very soft clothes toilet seat there but we're just getting ready to go ahead and install it now this is the higher profile they have two profiles the low one and the high one so they have a shroud here and you can use this for multiple things you can use it for the base of your toilet or you can use it as like a you know, like stormtrooper armor, but we'll use that for the toilet. This is the base um, seal. So you don't use uh, wax rings on RV toilets. Use those and then they give you to your bolts and then two nuts. We're gonna slide those into our grooves 
these really cool. We're going to go ahead and install our seal on the bottom of our toilet. And then this will sit in the hole. All right, so I want to make sure my toilet is straight with the back of my wall here. And then after I straighten it, I can go ahead and put my nuts on. All right, so I'm actually gonna put a bead of silicone around this, just if there's ever water or anything else that gets on the bathroom floor, I don't want it going under my toilet. my shroud on and they give you two black bands for closing up the back here so you can pull these tight There you go. And our toilet is installed. Okay, I'm gonna set my vanity in here. 